What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be going over some of the cards that caught my eye that were leaked for Sword and Shield due not until February, so it's going to be some time. But there's one or a couple really interesting things. Um, so, GXs are done, now it's V and V Max. Should be some interesting stuff. Um, but more importantly, a lot of the cards that we're going to be talking about, they, we have the printings in English. So it seems super likely that the Japanese and English releases will be in sync. And that is awesome. You know, it's been quite a while since Altered Genesis or whatever the last Japanese set was. Basically, last, the last part of Cosmic Eclipse. And we haven't heard anything yet. And now spoilers are in English, so I feel like that pretty much confirms that we're going to be on track. Uh, quick shout out to Nam P and Purge. They kind of like, hey, did you see these cards? And like, uh, I haven't gotten to by part of my day where I just go through like new Poke News. Um, so thank you, you guys. And uh, yeah, let's go over 10 of the cards that caught my eye. There are actually a lot of cards, so we're, I broke up... Um, I kind of created the materials and I broke going to break it up into two parts so tomorrow we're going to hit another 10 kind of like um, things of cards that were catching my eye and uh, let's get started all right we're going to kick things off with Celebi V um this card doesn't seem that crazy uh let's take a look uh, 180 HP not bad for kind of like V the new GX uh, one energy, find a friend, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. I feel like we've seen cards like this. Sometimes there's better ones that find any two cards. Uh, and then Lying Force isn't bad, but not great. Uh, this attack does 20 damage for each of your, be your, each of your bench Pokemon. So if you have a full bench, <clears throat> you're looking at 150. Not a huge lot. So like, why is this card relevant? I think there are going to be many strategies that revolve around this next card. Rillaboom! Uh, whenever I see that, I see Harambe, which is what I named my Grookey when I was playing Shield. But take a second and read that effect. I'll wait. Yes, that is absolutely insane. So yes, this is a stage two. But you know what? We'll go through it to other stuff first. 170 HP. Sure, hammer in 140 for four energy. That doesn't seem that good. Doesn't matter. He's going to be on the bench. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for two grass energy, leaf energies, and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle your deck. So, not from your hand, not from your discard, straight from the deck. Thins out your deck, and it's a double ramp. Absolutely insane. I feel like a lot of things will be to get to this guy as quickly as possible, and then you're just going to flood the, your, your Pokemon with grass energy, and then you're just going to take your opponents out. This ability is absolutely insane. What we got next? Ah, uh, Whimsicott. Um, Whimsicott's always really cute, and this art is no exception. He's coming in through the window. Um, only 100 HP. He has attack, a leaf step, does 50 damage, yeah, whatever. It is a stage one, but it's whisk away a bill. Attack sounds hilarious. Let's say we're, we're, we're in a battle, and uh, there's just a Connie on the board on the bench, and I throw out my v max pokemon with like i don't know four energy on it ready to go knocks out your your active i'm feeling good whimsicott comes out and is like yeah that's a nice pokemon head. yeah come back later <laughs> i don't feel like doing it be gone whisk away one if you don't have a bench that's game right there and two like all the amount of time it took you to set that guy up maybe you have a tool on there all that just goes away. It's like, ah, this, that's a problem for tomorrow. Like, sure, I'm not going to take a prize, you know, and that's my attack, but just get out of here. <laughs> Whimsicott coming in. That card just sounds really funny. Victini V, another one that's, you know, for V, it, for, for a two prize card, doesn't sound that amazing, but it has a lot of setup potential. Spreading Flames, the first one I read this, it sounded like a fire crystal attack, which for attack I don't really like the idea of, but it's even better. Attach up to three fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. This is the fire version of, let's get things, like, hey, Victini just used Spreading Flames, ramped up three times, stuff is about to happen next turn. Sure, he has an attacker as well. Energy burst 30x, 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. I guess theoretically this does have some potential. Let's say you're facing Rush's are just double blaze for 300. Energy burst, that's like eight energy between the two of you. That's 240, but I feel like spreading flame is where this guy will be focusing. And basically it's just the setup. 
And coming at 190 HP, he's not as fragile as he looks, but his retreat cost is two, which I'm not crazy about. Lapras. This is a pretty interesting card, which has a super strong ability, but I feel like it's pretty well balanced considering its high energy costs. So Lapras coming in at 130 HP. I kind of like that art, um, but for four water energy, four is quite high, 70 damage, but you may return two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to your opponent's hand. So, I don't know, unramp? I'm not sure what the appropriate term is, deramp? Sorry about that, I did get a phone call. Uh, but yeah, this card does have a very interesting mechanic to deramp to energy. I feel like against any kind of like fire-based decks, or basically if you have weakness on top of that, this thing will just be crippling. It just like slows down your plan, maybe even prevents you from attacking, and it is doing significant damage if you have weakness. So a pretty interesting card, and I feel like it's pretty balanced with that four energy cost. Otherwise, like to deramp two, that's quite strong. Then we have Intellion, um, stage two, basically another starter, uh, coming in at 160 HP, not too much. Silent Bullet for a colorless energy. Interesting, 40 damage, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Um, I feel like often this is not the end of the world if you lose a card, as long as you still have your supporter, that should be able to get you back to a full grip. But, you know, they, you do have a lot of chance of really offsetting things. And then the other thing is Hydro Snipe for just a water and then a color. So not too high of a cost. 100 damage, not bad. And you put, you basically deramp by one energy. So, you know, half the cost of Lapras, but more damage and only to affect one energy. Um, but again, especially if you're like fire type, that thing is so crippling. Um, it's high damage and a pretty good effect. Tapu Coco. When I first saw this art, I was like, I've seen this card before, or it's art. And I did take a look. They're very similar, but it's not the same as one of the previous printings. Um, the V cards, they kind of, I like how they're kind of like full arts. I wonder how many rarities they'll be. But let's take a look at this card. This thing caught my eye because I feel like it's pretty versatile. Not too strong, but kind of a nice all-rounder. Uh, 200 HP, and I like starting him off. Uh, let's say you're going second it's like hey i'm only doing 20 damage but draw two cards that's not bad that's not a bad way to open the game and then for three energy two lightning one color so you can do thunderous bolt for 200 it does have that common drawback you can't use it next turn but you do have a retreat cost of zero so basically swapping this back and forth should be pretty trivial to work around that if you're using the thunderous bolt as your primary damage dealer um, but to be honest, I really like that spike draw just you know hey turn one I can't do much but I'm just going to continue to draw cards Wooloo one of the cutest Pokemon in the new gen in my opinion uh, Wooloo coming in at, it doesn't matter what they're coming in it doesn't matter what his attacks do he doesn't do much but look how cute he is Enough said. <laughs> Hulu is super cute. And we have Snorlax V. Oh man, how often do you see a Snorlax art where he actually looks like he's ready to fight or slash fighting? You almost always he's sleeping or something or you know just chilling. This guy's ready to battle. He's coming in at 220 HP and he does have two interesting attacks. Four, three colorless. Actually, we'll hit the other one first. Four colorless energy falling down. 170 damage. This Pokemon is now asleep. Very Snorlax appropriate. And you know, that's not the end of the world. Falling asleep, you can, it's not too hard to get undo that. You just have to get a little bit lucky or do some switching. And Swallow Up. I find this attack very interesting. Not overpowered yet, but has a lot of potential. Three colorless energy, 60 damage. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it is colorless, so there is no such thing as weakness. But in the future, or as um, maybe in the rest of the set, or as new sets come out, if there's any ways to buff up your Pokemon, let's say like ADP or something like that. Basically, if you're doing more damage, once you start getting close to like triple digits, I feel like this attack is amazing just because it's straight up a damage and straight up a heal for that same amount. So I think it makes Snorlax have a lot of longevity. It's like an attack with a heal baked in. Um, you just need to do some buffing though in the meantime. So I feel like this card has a lot of potential and I love that art. And hey, we got Snorlax. Let's hit our first VMAX Pokemon, Max it. And uh, oh my, I've never Gigamaxed a Snorlax in Sword and Shield. I was not expecting this to happen. You guys like the 
the whole wild area on his belly. <laughs> I feel like that's like Torterra to the max. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on with the artwork, but I think it's hilarious. This Pokemon is pretty straightforward. G Max Fall. 60 plus, 60 plus 30 for all your bench Pokemon. So if you have a full bench of things doing 220, which you know for a V Max, that's not bad, but it's nothing, it's nothing crazy for, but it is three colorless energy, so it's pretty flexible, but its HP is so high, 300 for HP. Like our HP over the past year has just like ramped up like crazy um, from tag teams and now this, which is not all that different, or it is a three prize uh, Pokemon. I feel like that 340 HP will separate it and basically the fact that if you can deal you know 200 over 200 close to 200 damage every swing uh, while you have that much HP I feel like this thing is super viable and Snorlax alone in my opinion does have some potential there so it's not like oh well until you get V Max, the thing doesn't do anything it can and when you V Max it it's just so tanky. So those are the cards, some of the cards that have stood out to me as far as all the things that were released from the Sword and Shield set due out in February. Uh, again, I do have another set of slides, that another 10 slides I still want to go over, So, but I did want to break this up in two parts so the video is not too long. So definitely come back tomorrow to check out tomorrow's video where we hit 10 more Pokemon that caught my eye in the new Sword and Shield set. Um, but yeah, in the comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are uh, of these Pokemon, which one caught your eye the most, and I don't know, can you start what... Uh, brewing up some cool combinations with some existing cards. Let me know what your thoughts are. Other than that, guys, that's it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. I uh, hope everyone's having a good holiday and get some uh, time off and spending this time with uh, friends and family and loved ones. So I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.